I'm Anna. I'm Ben. We're honestly welcome to our channel. Today we're watching Steins Gate, an OVA. Yeah, I yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, twenty years in the future, maybe. I I have no guesses other than maybe like a, a time skip, catching up with where our friends are now. My guess is that it's just going to be another <sighs> little what? Daru meeting his wife. I feel like that'd be too good to be, like, true. True. I feel like that theory is just, it, it fits exactly what I would dream of wanting, so I don't feel like we'd get it. But I'm thinking we're possibly just going to get, like, an extra little sprinkle of trauma with, like, another world line of trying to save mm. Mayuri. Just inserted just like, trauma. They're like, oh, did you miss it? Here you go. <laughs> Here's some more. Yeah. I, I'm going to I'm gonna hope for the Daru wife thing. I, I yeah. also, now that you've said it. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Name of the show. Pretty cool. <laughs> it is the name of the show. まさかまさかこんな未来が待っているとはこれも全てシュタインズゲートの選択だというのかあの時全てが始まったあの2週間前に where are we? I don't know. At first, I thought we were in that dream place that we had that Mayuri scene. Like inside the the hourglass. Yeah. <laughs> are we going on vacation? Beach episode. Beach episode. L A. L A. Oh, was that L A? <laughs> it kind of looked like uh, Vegas. Oh. Carissa can be your tour guide. Look at the little twitch. Yeah. Sweet. Is she in America then? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard Mary say anything like that. So this takes place after the final episode. I mean, Moik is working for them, so it has to be, right? Ruka's coming too. That is a lot, lot of, nuts. of nuts. Oh, not that. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so chocolate without nuts. That's a Whoa. that is that is wild. Crease is so cool. I know. What's the purpose? <laughs> You probably just made this agent's day. I'm smallish citizen. Do you understand? Do you understand? I mean, are you surprised? No. <laughs> You learned a valuable lesson. Yep. <laughs> Leaving without you. Bye bye. <laughs> Deserved. This is not what I thought was coming. Sorry, Daru, you're not the favorite. Oh my god. <laughs> I love how much Ferris plays along. I know. Are we watching Vinland Saga? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no! 
Why is this such an accurate depiction? I know, it's... Of what it would be like? <laughs> you know what? Okabe knew what he was doing. He wanted to stay here with Kurisu. こちらでの暮らしはどうなのだ別に前話していた別の世界線とかいう話時折俺以外のものでも別の世界線の記憶を持つことがあるようだったのでうん俺を言おうと思って探してもらってうん本当にそれ以外は覚えていないのだな <laughs> she was so ready to drop them off. I love her glasses. That's also true, though. That also, yes. I don't know the reference to that one. <笑>だから狼の部屋で二人で寝たりしたから鳥で仕方ない私もここに泊まるわだから岡部と橋田私とマユリああ留香子とマユリならば問題はないだろうユリ展開ははもうそうすな内在隣の部屋がユリ展開
But perfect place to be to meet Daru. <laughs> Stop. Seven years from now. Okay. <laughs> that was for us. That was for us. Like, thank you for that gift. Oh no. <laughs> this makes a lot more sense now. You know what though? He could legitimately die out here. I know. <laughs> like, I know. That's what I was thinking. Like, heat exhaustion. While I was here, I should have said it. <laughs> How perfectly them. <laughs> って何の話だ<笑>俺はお前が好きだ。お前はどうなのだ。あんたは別の世界線で私と長い時間を過ごしたかもしれないけど、私にとって別の世界線での出来事は夢のようなもの。どの世界線のどの時間、どの場所にいようとも、俺はお前が
and it was like like they they gave us what we i kind of expected it like some ovas are like oh 40 minutes an, an hour this was such a great like 24 minute like episode of that gave me like the happy uh nostalgic feelings when we first started steins gate and it was like you know in the like two to eight episode range and it was more like like light-hearted less traumatic yeah like, it answered three the three questions we were left uh, unanswered with uh in the series in the first season in the series which were who's daru's wife who's suzaha's mom uh is there actually no world war in this line mm -hmm. obviously he can't tell the future if there is one not regarding time machines yeah but you know the time machine issue isn't an issue yeah anymore and then will he and curry sue have a relationship even though the other world lines is where they had all their time together. I thought that the third unanswered question was going to be if he, Okabe, would ever try Diet Dr. Pepper, which was also something that was answered in this OVA that I'm very happy about. It feels like it was like, I don't know, it feels like it was made for somebody who really enjoyed the show. And I guess mm -hmm. that's, that's the perfect goal, right? That's yeah. what you're trying to achieve ideally with an OVA, but actually succeeding in it and like, f and putting in what a person who really enjoyed, you know, mm -hmm. Steins Gate wanted without doing like too much to the point of it being like, I don't know, not realistic. This doesn't this wasn't just here's another twenty four minutes with these characters you probably liked from watching the series. Yeah. This was like I'm going to tie up some of your questions in a really like impactful twenty four minutes that's also lighthearted as a separation from the show because I feel like if this was attached to the show, like actually this was like the last episode, there would have been I don't think the tone would have matched especially the last couple episodes that we had of Steins Gate the series, yeah. it would have been like this tone is like totally different from what I would have expected it to be. The only time the tone like super matched the like what I feel like would fit as an ending for the series uh, was the moments of Curry Sue and Okabe, uh, especially when she brings up forgetting things and he has that look on his face and I'm like, oh, look at that look on his face. Those moments of, like, sadness that you have all of these memories and these other people do not, but you still have those feelings and you can't quiet those feelings, that all reflects the tone. Yeah. I definitely wanted wanted to touch on that, though. The From everything that Okabe's been through, it is very, very, like, admirable and, like, props to him for being able to live a pretty normal life, all things considered, yeah, in comparison to what himself. happened before everything. Mm -hmm. Because he went through an extraordinary amount of trauma, like an, un like an inconceivable amount of trauma, and he's able to push forward. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool to see. It's also cool to, like, know that, oh, Carisu went back to America and is working on her own things, mm -hmm. right? It's not just, like, a, oh, immediate love. Like yeah, that. yeah, she's going to drop all of her actual interests yeah. and, like, academic studies and experiments. And I, honestly, that makes me really happy. I feel like they have all of the characters in really fulfilling situations, uh, even despite the fact that a lot of the characters have had to undo their, like, most their biggest wish of all time yeah and to have them all still like happy friendly in good positions now yeah. in this in this world line i like it, it seems like you're, there's like a nice like undertone of you like in regards to every single character we have you don't need to go back and change this thing that might be a regret or something that you wish was different in order to have a happy and fulfilling mm -hmm. life. And you I know. think what it almost what what it shows is that like your your people, like your your found family, your people you surround yourself with, they can make even like the most hard, traumatic, like sad yeah. 
things that you don't want to think about, don't want to talk about, they can they can make you feel comfortable enough. Like they can make you feel like you can just open up and enjoy life despite things that might you might feel are holding you back from fully enjoying things. Yeah. That like supportive group of like no matter who I am, where I come from, what I look like, these these people will support me and and be kind to me yeah. and I'll have fun with them. This OVA definitely made me think of like living with what they've been through. Whereas the like I felt so much closure in the last episode and now I feel like I'm able to like be like like more analyze and think about people's like feelings going forward, like in the future of this world, right? Like Carisu's feelings specifically towards Okabe are really interesting because it's like you're what she said, right? You're not, she it wasn't experien- experiencing these things in this world line. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have the reading Steiner, right? But throughout those dreams and memories, like she's able to like feel a certain way about them. And because of that, like those emotions are being explored in a different way. I think that that whole idea of them feeling like they have had a strong enough dream that she says that it felt felt so real like it didn't feel like a dream and that's why it was confusing her so much and like I think everyone's probably experienced some dreams where they woke up in the in the morning and they like were like oh, oh, like they yeah. thought they were like falling I don't know something happened getting and hit like by a train it. I've had ones that like were not crazy at all like maybe there's a spider in the room i don't know and then i'll wake up and like think that there is one Mm. i things like that happen i've had dreams like that where i've woken up and i've felt like that's reality i feel like sometimes i've had conversations with you that didn't actually happen yeah so like that's really relatable that feeling like i can get behind her feelings there and understand why she's so confused about not necessarily how she feels even, like, obviously she can be confused about how she feels, but I guess I'm trying to more focus on, like, what is she supposed to do with these feelings? Like, yeah. that would be confusing to me. It's like, okay, well, to me it was a dream, and to me, like, in this life, because she's also very logical, so she would be like, well, in this world line, I have not had that interaction with him, and that growing to love with him, and all that time with him, therefore I couldn't jump into something if in this in this life I haven't, like, yes, yes, I might have had those moments then, but logically I need to also have them here, or what should I, should I be pursuing this? I imagine that it would have been somewhat comforting when Okabe said that he had this ability, right, he lived through these things, because that Laterna, one, she isn't alone completely in that, but two, what kind of person he is, because there are some people I imagine who living through all of that and then getting to the other side of it would have been extremely like persistent to that person. Like, mm-hmm. Oh no, we had it before we had it before. We like, well, let's it force it. Right. You're in there somewhere, but no, he's like given her space like as he should. And I think that's why we get that created moment of her regretting saying uh, that she's going to forget yeah. that memory or that world line or those feelings. And thinking that he ran off because of what she said and and knowing well if that was real to him then i just said like a really horribly mean thing to this person yeah have have you ever had dreams that end in you dying or like about to die yeah i i have as well but i can i don't imagine to the extent that mayori has and i hope that she's doing okay i mean she can sleep well at night now, seemingly obviously she she seemed to definitely she woke up suddenly but that's because they made a loud noise so yeah i totally understand which probably that. gave her like i don't know it probably reminded her of loud noises she heard no <laughs> you know? definitely not she went back to sleep like a rock she got hit by a lot of things <laughs> um she did she did i have a question for you okay so in theory suzaha exists in the future mm-hmm in a world with no war mm-hmm. or no time machine or no time machines exactly That's does what I'm she saying. have dreams of other world lines that take place in the past that would be interesting that's a good question like when she's born seven years from now 
Will she have like no past no 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 memories? Oh, that's not what you're asking. No, like okay. in the, in a different timeline or world line from us, right? Mm-hmm. Like Suzaha is the Suzaha that we knew in a different way is existing um like with Daru and and Kiyoma, right? Uh, a different Daru and Kiyoma that we don't know, it, like from her timeline, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, she didn't go back, but in the same way that we are here now, she, I think, would be with her version of Daru and Kiyoma that weren't, you know, taken over by the war or the time machine or being like a famous terrorist. In that world, is she having dreams of when she came back? And interacted with these people like it, like is she like oh I can see you father and uncle who are this much old like years older than me but I have dreams of me at this age you interacting when... with you while you were younger see I still think that can apply to what I'm saying of, when she's born of when she's born having past life memories I think that that's an interesting question it... of if she as she is like Maybe not, like, when she's older, but when she's, like, a toddler, I could totally see that, like, her being like, oh, yeah. That would be so and, fucked, and me bro. And you went and did this, and, and then Daddy, was... did you really say this to me? <laughs> I had a dream that you, like... like oh, God. Yeah, like, like, like that would be weird. Daru I don't know. would, like, be so upset. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I... He'd be like, I don't, I don't claim that other Daru. I don't know him. Dude, w- how they left it off, right... Uh, I'm saying this in a joking light, but uh, last episode, or I guess the final episode, left off in a very, like, oh, I wonder if they're ever going to, like, m- like actually get together and, like, you know, rekindle that mm-hmm. that was in other world lines. This episode, I'm like, okay, they did it, but are they going to survive? <laughs> because they're in the desert, oh, out of oh, gas. You know, you have a fair point. Uh, they don't have a lot of money on them probably yeah. they have a car without gas mm-hmm. we already saw that the drive-in dine-in uh person doesn't want anything, doesn't to, want do with anything them. to do with them He's maybe like, they'd be re- like you know receptive to carisu yeah you know, she has you're right maybe you know. maybe that they uh, he probably appeared to not have any money and that is yeah. why they did not want him in their establishment i loved that we're in america and they made us feel like we're in america <laughs> Right, not just like with the terminology used or like the voice acting, but I loved like the police and the airport security <laughs> side of things. It was so funny. Oh, that was a little too like I. That was honestly so funny because I don't even think I could have ever Im- imagined it if I if I was like, okay, what would it be like if Okabe came to America? That was literally so perfect of what it would be like. I had, like, when that scene was going down, I was like, man, I don't know when, what year this was made. It, it doesn't say here, but I, I don't know what... it's, like, 2011. Huh. But, but I'm not sure. I think I might have seen it in, like, an opening or an outro or something, but that might have been when it was written. I don't know. But uh, w- when that scene was going on, I was like, oh, man, if this happened in real life... They would like cuff him, and then he got cuffed, and I was like, "This is amazing! I love it so much." You can't much. just like go into an airport and be like, "I'm a mad scientist. Yeah. I'm here to invade." I'm like, "These are these are some words you should not be saying right now." Yeah. But then when the guy started laughing, I was like, "Oh, okay. We're they're <laughs> ma- they're obviously making us, the audience, think a thing for a second, and then they're going to dispel that. And yeah. He's gonna be allowed to go free. He made the agent laugh. It's mm-hmm. all good." I hope that they ended up bringing back chocolate from Moeka. Yeah, no macadamia nuts. Apparently. What's her, like, issue with macadamia nuts? I don't know. Other world Is line? that, like, really specific to L.A.? Macadamia nuts? Maybe. Or is, does she just have, like, such an irrational fear of them that, like, it doesn't matter where you're going on vacation. They don't have to be, like, from that place. She just really doesn't want you to bring her any back. Possibly. All right, that's all all I have. Oh, Ferris won, I believe, right? The Rhinet tournament? That was awesome. Yep, okay. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope to see you next time.